Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now today, we're continuing on fulfilling all the needs for every tier of Resident. With the investors all done now, we've moved on to the tourists and the engineers. Now in the last episode, we actually delivered on everything for every cafe, bar, and restaurant on the Island of Swords, and also stocked the hotels with shampoo, perfume, lemonade, and souvenirs. Those ones can be pretty tricky, especially the souvenirs for me. Now today, we're going to be stocking the mini fridge of the hotel rooms with some mezcal and some ice cream, and then we'll aim to deliver on some of those fine tailoring goods that you often find in the hotel lobby. So we can just quickly take a look at what we're talking about here. On the lifestyle section, mezcal, the drink, ice cream, bombins, and leather boots. Those are going to be the next four goods we tackle directly. Now as a side effect of that, it just so happens that the engineer's lifestyle also have the same sort of things for food and drink. So they're going to require mezcal and ice cream. So that's a bit of a two for one, which is really nice. Similarly, we just did that with shampoo, which gave us a pretty healthy boost to the engineer's five per household across the Island of Swords. So that's basically where we're at. Now, a little bit of time has played between episodes just while I was farming some items in the Research Institute, which we'll hopefully see soon. We're pretty close to crossing that 170,000 threshold. Don't know if we'll quite get there, but we should once we get delivering some of these goods for this episode. All right, so uh, let's begin. Now, I've got a little notepad, actually, of the things that I want to get done. We'll be spending a large amount of time here on the island of Minola, of course. So what was the first thing? So ice cream and perfume. Oh, sorry, not perfume, but ice cream is going to be used by... Actually, sorry, we should start with mezcal first because it's earlier in the chain. Ice cream's a little further down, so we'll start with the mezcal first. So that's going to require sugar cane going into sugar, citrus, and herbs. Now, I was saying, kind of afraid of this just because the island of Marbella that I have is really pretty much maxed out. There is actually some space that we freed up a while ago here, but it's pretty maxed out for, for instance, the amount of sugar I can produce chocolate, things like that, because I'm just making use of everything I can there in terms of items to really get cracking on it. So it just seemed like it would be a little difficult to get the ice cream rolling and anything that's going to require in sugar and citrus, which both of these do, right? So they both require it. So it's just a bit of a pain. But not afraid of the challenge. We'll just dive straight straight in and just go for it. So I was also having a look at an item called the Embesson Envoy, which we talked about, I think, in the last episode. And the Embesson Envoy... If we could just bring him up, uh, I guess we'll just search the items. There he is. So what he does is he affects the mezcal bar, the jalea kitchen, perfume mixer, apiary, indigo farm, hibiscus farm, and a laboratory if it's doing pigments. Quite an interesting guy. Now, that's going to be doing 35% productivity. It'll increase the workforce required, so more people are required. But instead of herbs for the mezcal, they'll use hibiscus petals instead. Now, that's not much of a trade-off for me. Forget what the rest of it says, because it's not that important for this recipe. The only thing it'll replace is herbs for hibiscus petal. I was really hoping we'd get something that would replace sugar or citrus, because those things are just such a pain. So what I've decided to do is, for the ice cream side of things, there are some items and some characters that will actually provide some sugar back if you put them in the radius of one of these. So, for instance, this guy right here. Generaro Garibaldi... Chocolatier by Royal Appointment. I know I butchered the name, but he actually provides back some sugar and some rum as well. So I think stacking those, stacking him on some ice cream factories and anything else we can put in there, like another chocolate factory, whatever else, is going to be really helpful in just generating the sugar I need without having to plant more sugar cane and refine it. So that's what I'm hoping to do. So let's get cracking. Uh, so first things first, we'll check the statistics to see how much globally we need. Now on the island of Manolo, we've actually got four of these already. Two of them, I believe, are like in the town. Uh, if I do this, there we go. Couldn't see it there. Two of them are there and two of them are here, like more ind industrial parts. So we're going to move these out to the side. Now I just remembered something. A new DLC has just been released and I actually got sent this one from Ubisoft. Uh, for the cosmetic packs, I don't think I've ever been sent one before, but this one I was sent, so I have it in a timely fashion for you. Let's have a look. So, beautification menu, we'll head over to the cosmetic panel, and now we have the Fiesta pack. So, perfect for the new world. Obviously, I don't want to really use it properly until I get most of the production chains and everything pretty much in place. Then we're going to do lovely time lapses to cap the series off and say that we're finally done everything. And this is perfect to have a nice pack like this, because I've been saying for so long that we need more packs, more ornaments in the old world, sorry, more ornaments in the new world that isn't just part of the Hacienda. So Hacienda packs have like, uh, 
or the DLC rather the what's they call seeds of change DLC actually has like a lot of these nice ornaments there and they're cool and everything but now we've got a full dedicated pack to it so I'm really happy about that in terms of beauty building it's really really nice so we'll just have a very very quick look we've got a hacienda here not that they fit together necessarily but we could just say like let's have a look at this area so let's just start off with well, we'll put down some of the big ones, right? We've got a nice big fountain. So this one's called the Sunwell. Actually, we can check it there. A fountain dedicated to the Mesoan god Ilhiakata, who in his mortal form made his first sunstone and banished the darkness. So pretty cool. Then we have Summer Pavilion. We've got a little stall. So we'll just put these out one by one. We'll pave around it, and then we'll have a look at each one of them. So it's just a showcase of the ornaments, I guess, that's on offer. Another fountain. So that one's a bit smaller. It's a fountain of inspiration. Nobody knows who painted this fountain overnight, but nobody's complaining either. It is said that if you toss a coin in it, you'll never run out of ideas. Fountain of inspiration. So we have traditional terracotta is the standard kind of thing that uh, the ornament to use, I guess. Now, my own personal gripe with this is the fact that there's like a grid around each one, like a square around each one. Now, I know that some places do do that, but I was really, really hoping that we could just get one that looks like these. The Hacienda paving. The problem with Hacienda paving is that it has to connect back to the Hacienda. I just, for so long, I've wanted to be able to use this on its own. It's a great ornament, but th that's such a limiting thing by ha making it have to connect to the actual initial path. And the same with the actual path one as well. So if we cl click in here... Let me look at this. Nice little path. Looks cool. But again, it's locked away forever in here. So if I was to ever use mods, that would be a mod I would use just to break that out of this pack. Because it's very frustrating that it's locked away in there. And then by... Oh my god, we just got the same guy I was actually needing. That's perfect. Thank you. So anyways, one little gri gripe of mine is just that there's little squares around this. I'd like it just a continuous, you know, the inside of it to just be used. Now, there is different variants, but it just changes the inside and the thickness of the bricks, I think? Kind of looks the same. And you can rotate it around as well. So, I like it. I like the look of it. But goddamn, I wish there was just one variant of it where it just didn't have that little edge around it. Anyway, I digress. There is also this one. This is like a little pathway. Slightly different. It's not like the thick bricks. It's more just... Uh, Oh, what does it say? Traditional path. Sun-kissed tiles are a nod to the nature-inspired geometric patterns. The Mesoans once venerated. Chef Michael. Getting all the chefs. And then you can have like a little um, grate in it. Or you can have some rubble on top or whatever. Just some debris or whatever. So that's kind of nice. Looks cool. Happy with that. And then we've got nice little... um, Yeah, so everything else will then blend with these ones. These are like going to be the different plant variants that you have. And then a public bench. We then have taller trees. This one's a very, very colorful tree indeed. That one there. And I think that's basically everything, right? And then, of course, oh, yeah, we have our wall that can wrap around things. We then have a flower bed that can wrap around things as well. So it's a linear flower bed. It doesn't um, fill the center in like some of the other ones in the DLCs in the old world. I can't even remember the name of all these now. There's so many. But one of these ones, I think it's these. Um, uh, that's it. Pedestrian zone. The pedestrian zone has not just the enclosed tree this one the enclosed greenery so yeah so that's the difference there god that was a real struggle for my mind to get but anyway it looks good really like the look of these i think they look great could definitely do a lot with them in uh in the new world and in the center of the town and stuff i'm planning on like maybe putting some of the mezcal bars around them or something like that that could be kind of a nice idea and then you have your monuments and stuff in the center of them so that's going to be cool i don't mind too much that it's grid spaced but i just wish maybe there would have been an option for it not having it be a grid um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, there's some different variants to some of these. I guess not, actually. Is it just the trees that I'm thinking of? Oh, yeah. Public benches. So you can have one with two benches, one with one, and a table. One with just one on its own. I thought for sure the trees could change. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, it's the palm tree. Yep, so you can have a palm tree with, like, benches around it, a bench in front of it, one just in the ground, that kind of thing. Looks nice. These look good, too. I don't know what kind of tree that is. Jarkaranda tree. A shower of purple petals. This one almost looks like... Is it a chess table? Yeah, it has a chess table on it. That's cool. Alright, so there you go. That's the Fiesta pack. So, I won't be using too much with it right now until we actually start building out the center of town. I'd love to have, you know, around the stadium 
really nice big area for people to kind of lounge around and then have some of these different bars and restaurants or whatever around it too. I think that could look really cool. Big open sort of courtyard kind of thing. Mixing it with some of the bright, um, not bright harvest, the seeds of change ornaments could be quite nice too if you can kind of blend them together. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Obviously then there's the gateway as well to go through the wall and that's pretty much it. Alrighty, so let's get back cracking onto the actual stuff here. So we have Mezcal. Uh, we need to look in statistics how we're doing globally, because we're going to have to ship this quite far. So our consumption rate is 24. We're currently producing 16. And we've got two in the center of town, two out here. So I'm not going to do any trade union for these guys. So these ones are going to be kind of cool because we can place them in the town in the future if we wanted to in different places. Maybe have some of them further out. I don't know. But six in total should be enough, right? That's 24 to 24. That's dead even. I don't know if that's uh, pushing it a little bit. It might be. Maybe we should just put down one extra just to get that other little bit out of it. And just to be safe, like if the population has to grow, if we end up putting more houses down, that's going to need to increase, right? So, because these guys consume mezcal. So let's just be safe, knowing that there might be a few extra houses in the future. That's 28 over 24. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's going to be consuming, like we said, sugar, herbs, and citrus. All right, so instead of working out the sugar now, because it's going to feed into ice cream as well, no pun intended, we'll wait to put down some items and stuff before I start investing into sugar right now. But we will do some of the herbs, I think. So herbs was out this way on the island of Alicante. If we go to agriculture and we type in herbs, we have 52 consumption rate over 27. And globally, it's only produced, oh, not here, sorry, here on the island of Estepona. So we've got 85 yondoleros working. We have fuel and agricultural, what is it, fertilizer here. Cool, so we just spam these down a bit. Just out of curiosity, with just two down, how many do we have already? 27. So we only need like two more, right? Based on that logic, pretty much. Seems to be. All right, so let's just do that. Be a bit lazy with it, because we can, in fact, just move this. Just grab those two. Uh, actually, let's not be too lazy with it. We'll do this. Get your tractor barn right there. And, yeah, we'll just have a road come out this way as well. A little crossroads that brings you into both. No it's a bit linear, space. I guess, or um, <laughs> a bit too symmetrical to be natural. It's, sorry, getting my hotkeys messed up. Just came off of a session in Satisfactory. By the way, there'll be some new games coming to the channel soon. I know maybe some people don't care about that, but some might be looking forward to it. Uh, a lot of people ask me to play Transport Fever 2. I've got a few other ones in mind right now. A lot of people ask for City Skylines. New one's on the way as well. It's kind of tempting. Alrighty. Let's prepare the land. So it is facing the different direction. Some people actually told me about why that is. And I've forgotten. So thanks for that. <laughs> 192. There we go. So let's just bring this out to here. And cut this back. So it's 196 over 192. I'm happy enough with that. Uh, when I'm doing my, what's it called, time lapses in the future, I'll be going over all these farms. Everything is going to be perfect. Things like this kind of irk me where it's like perfectly symmetrical. I know that efficiently makes sense, but it doesn't organically look like a natural farm to me. So I might change that in the future. But just to get the ball rolling and have things working right now, it's fine to just get started like this. Uh, let's just cut away this bit. Bring this up. Because why not? Give them their extra there. Okay, so if we look globally now, we should have the herbs we need. We're at 48 under 52. Have you got your tractor barn online and everything already? Let's just speed up time just for a minute, just to make sure. They might need one more then in that case. Sometimes it just takes a second. Yeah, 53. Oh, 53 over under 52, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll be it. And what's the problem? Are you guys full? I'm not sure, but the productivity is jumping up and down. Maybe uh, loading and unloading problems. So, if I'm not mistaken, herbs already travel from here to Manola on one ship. So, I think that should be still fine. It's a decent journey, though, because it is from one side of the map to the other. But And the ship is full. I guess the question would be, 
we're making 50 something per minute, which is kind of a lot. Uh, so what's that? Six minutes. If you're not back in six minutes, then you're taking too long, effectively. So we can look up that ship and look up the storage of this island. Trade route, herb input. Yeah, we're looking at about seven minutes, so it might not be good enough. Might need a second ship on that. Let's just put a second ship on it, just to be safe. Oh, the other thing you could do, this ship would really benefit from having maybe... Oh, it does have items on it, yeah, okay. So we'll go to New Worlds, the Toasty, pop it on there. There we go. Two ships rolling in and out. That should just keep everything moving, especially if you're going to have another farm in the future. It's obviously going to be needed. All right, good. Bruins in our city from that oil explosion. Whoa, steam motors are offline. Steam carriages, excuse me. Alrighty, so that is herbs sorted out for the Mezcal bar. Uh, bars that we're going to need. The next one will be sugar and then citrus, which we'll do later because it's not really up to us just yet how that's going to work. But what we could do is start distributing it back to the old world. So, as far as I know, Mezcal goes to tourists and engineers. I don't think it goes to anybody else. I'll just check in basic just to be sure, but I, I doubt it. Yeah, they're good. Can't imagine the Arctic. They're going to be uh, drinking mezcal. Oh my god, they are? Oh, right. Well, excuse, excuse me. I can't believe they get mezcal up here. Man, lucky guys. New world to Arctic. So we have a ship delivering it up here already. The airship. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, that's already sorted for us, so that's good. But there's no mezcal route, I think, back to the old world. So let's get that going now. Um... Bum, bum, bum. Right, so New World. I'll just let me just triple check that there is. I'm not already doing it. No, it's just to the Arctic. Okay, good. All right, create a route. Create a route from Manola. Trade route, Manola, to the Old World, Lusk. And it's just gonna do Mezcal. Oh my God, I can't. It's been see, it's been like over a week since I played, so I don't remember even what I call these routes. So this is gonna be New World to Old World. So it's a New World export. So export Mezcal. Okay. There we are. All right, so we've got some reefers that get the HMS tube worm. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, that can bring us the Mezcal. Let's just see now, would that be, what's the consumption rate of Mezcal globally, you know? Or even actually just in the old world, what is it? Old world and Cape Trelawney, I would say. It's nine. So one ship bringing 300 at a time. I think that's fine. It should be okay. So the next thing then is separating these routes. So we're going to need a trade route to go from Lusk to Cape Trelawney. Picking up that Mezcal. I mean, they really don't need a full ship doing this. But I'll do this in between episodes. I liked it. That one time where I had time-lapse trade routes is really cool because I got to go through really be... Judici judicious or yeah specific and really look at all the statistics and see how long does a route take and that's how I judge like how much to go on each ship I'd like to do that for this place because there's a lot going back and forth and there's not a huge consumption here So definitely ships could be taking multiple things uh, So I'll have to do that for this area at some point in the future. I just did it for swords So I never did it for this island. Anyway, so we'll take the Pocahontas. You can do your thing You'd almost want to wait to unload kind of thing just to keep anyway I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to make these things too busy so cape to the old world import mezcal i feel like this one could be mezcal and ice cream for instance let me just say accept for a second we'll do it for one of these things i think because they're used by the same people so the mezcal here if we just select cape trelawney the consumption rate is two tons per minute it's nothing so let's check ice cream then three yeah so being basically the same let's get that route again just pause that for a second so we'll make these four ice cream because there was three tons per minute and this is two tons per minute it's not going to work out exactly but i mean that should be better than what it was before so mezcal and ice cream let's just 
say ice. You can search it just fine. Uh, let's just tell him to get going again. All right. So that should be a little bit better. Okay. So um, last one is then to just do the same thing, but up to swords. So if I have a look at swords and all the roots that are going up here on the old world, I don't know if I ever added ice cream. So delivery special. These are all the extra unique deliveries. Delivery champagne. I don't remember naming that. That's funny, though. Did I do that just recently? I feel like I may have. Um, I'm trying to see which one. So, light bulb delivery, delivery special 10. One of these, I thought for sure, had space for more things per minute. But I guess not. Okay. Yeah. It's basically got to be another one of these, right? Because it has to go to these two islands. All right, so... It's not a special delivery. I'm assuming the consumption rates are going to be similar. But maybe before I commit to this route, I'll just check. Because I think I have a weird feeling that scholars might take in Mezcal. No. Alright. So in that rate, let's just have a look then at Swords and Rush. This island, These islands have tourists on them and Swords has engineers. So if we just look at Mezcal again, that's seven per minute. And then we look at ice cream, that's eight per minute. So again, it could probably be probably best just to be 50-50 on the ship. Um, so let's just have a look at the route that we just made. And then ice cream. And the numbers are fairly low, so I'm not too concerned with... Um, the one ship just doing all of this. So, because Rush is going to have such a small amount of people on it, we'll just put this down to like, I don't know, 30. So that way it doesn't unload absolutely everything. Some of it should go to Rush before having to wait for this to fill up. Alright, so we'll just pop another ship on this, the Piranha. And we'll call this, um, Delivery. Mez and ice. We'll keep it in the old world. Okay. Good. So we should see the ball, get the ball, see the ball start to get rolling <laughs> uh, in a moment. And eventually these guys will start getting their stuff. Now I actually wrote down a few other things to um, catch up on. So in the new world, there's a little problem. There's too much tortillas. What so we'll pause one of these buildings. And another problem was there isn't enough bauxite. So there's an empty bauxite mine here. We'll just turn that on now. And if we hook it up to the road, I think they'll just straight away get power. Yeah. So if I just look at bauxite, I don't know if there's a bauxite route in the new world. There is. Good. So that should bring up the bauxite numbers to where it needs to be, I think. Let me just check. Bauxite. Yeah, now we're producing enough. We we weren't before. Um, also, just out of curiosity, why is one of those offline? Ah, oh, there's no warehouse in range. Oh, well, there's a problem. There you go, little friend. Careful on those train tracks. I don't know why there needs to be two tracks here. But that's a problem for another day. <laughs> All right, so that should fix the bauxite problem, which in turn will fix the aluminum uh, issue, which in turn fixes why we're out of sewing machines or these buildings aren't working. So that's a little problem I wrote down a while ago. Just having a look at my notepad, I thought there was one other thing. Oh, yeah, there's perfume. Perfume is having an issue too, has been for a while. I just want to do a similar thing. So we make perfume in Manola, and in the old world, it's got a problem getting delivered correctly. Um, so it's it's getting delivered now, and that's fine, but what I need to do is probably just say dump more into swords, because it's the main consumption. And just lower this down to, again, like 30. Um, maybe then say 10 here, and 10 here, because artisans are the guys that take perfume as well. So something like that. I don't even know if the ship will ever actually fully fill up, that this will make sense, so we'll see. I'm not that concerned anyway. Eventually, swords will fill up and everything will backfill. It could just take a long time. But this should prioritize swords first. Okay, so those are all the little issues I had on the side. Um, 
interestingly, we're lacking Yondoleros at the moment. Now, I don't... Oh, that's because of regional mail falling up and down. Hmm. That's fine. We'll have enough of them soon enough. Deliver them work clothes. How many do you get for having work clothes? Two extra people per household. Okay. Production is paused on this. We're going to need that. Pop it online. So we're going to need more... Hopefully even that would be enough. Man, I really look forward to um, doing a time loss for these guys in the future. God, local mail storage is really bad. Alright, we're out of aluminum, so I can't make another um, post office just yet. Alright, so hopefully this will come up a little bit. This has ended just recently. Don't want to do another one just right now. So let me just figure out. So I guess really the next thing is then ice cream. And we can start bringing over the items that we brought in from the research institute. So let's do that. So at our airport down here. Transfer over the items that we need. So trade union, please. We're going to need the chef. He can come with me. We need get rich... Volume 4, because it affects ice cream factories. Produces a little bit of ethanol on the side. Is Benty dropping um, stuff on me? It sounded like she was. But anyway. And then the last one, I think her name is Charlotte or something. This one. Yes. So again, same actual effects that the other guy has too. But she produces sugar. So he's producing sugar and rum. Affects chocolate, fried plantain, and ice cream. So does she. They both affect the same thing. He's pro she's productivity 40. He's productivity 50. Sugar, one every four cycles. Sugar, one every four cycles. So th those two together, that's two every four cycles, I guess. Or one every two cycles. Is, does that math make sense? I think it probably does. Um, and then extra rum as well. So that extra sugar should really help. And then we're just getting a little extra ethanol as well, which we struggled with a little bit before. So, it all should help. So, back over here. They should be arriving any moment through here. So, let's see. Ice cream. 100 artistas are needed. We've got one on the island just over there. Let's just pull this out. Just temporarily, we'll throw down, I don't know, four. Four ice cream factories. So, they're going to be requiring milk chocolate, and more citrus. So let's go ice cream. So that's 11 over 8. I'm hoping with these items, I'm sure with these items, in fact, we'll have what we need. So new trade union. We'll throw in Gennaro Garibaldi. 50% productivity. A little extra attractiveness as well. I wonder how he pulls that off. Your, your hair is chocolate fondue, shrieked the young queen. As she pushed his 7-meter Osterhas into the fire. I have no idea what any of that means. Uh, Charlotte the Chocoholic. The crook and bush of chocolatiers. She towers above the rest. And then we've got our lovely Get Rich Quick, Volume 4. Goldfall's ergon ergonomic poetry never ceases to amaze. Hmm. Now we're actually full up. Which is an interesting problem to have. So let's get the trade route rolling and send this ice cream to the old world. Trade routes. Here to the old world to Lusk. We're going to get an in-between ship. We're going to call it Export Ice Cream. New world to old world. Load her up. Okay, cool. That's pretty much it. And then we just have to do the same thing we just did with the other stuff. So, create a new route, trade route in the old world. We want to go from Lusk to Swords and then down to Rush. Oh, no, no, we don't need to do that. We already did that one. That's done. So, that's good. It's just to... And then it's also done... Oh, actually, I just did these, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, we did a two for one, right? Yeah, so mezcal and ice cream. Cool. So that's actually saved us a bit of time. Good. 
All right, so in theory, we should just start to see this arrive. Um, we just have to make sure that this all works then. So chocolate, citrus. So now we can actually look at, you know, sugar and what we're getting. So we know that these guys are going to be helping produce that stuff for us. It's going to take a little while. I'll just, just to get the, again, I keep saying this phrase for some reason, but just to get the ball rolling, I'm just literally going to take out some ice cream and throw it overboard. <laughs> or I could just make a manual delivery, but that would be cheating. I'd rather just do this. So I just wanted to empty out the storage just for a bit. It was gone bad, don't worry. The ice cream is just, it, it's gone bad. Let the jellyfish have it. Startling brush-footed butterflies? Absolutely not. Bad when they're all, <laughs> all right. So now we'll see the proper amount of sugar in the rum that we're getting. I think it would show us that anyway, but just to be uber certain of it, now that this can actually get up to its full potential. Let's have a look now at the statistics. Ice cream. So now... Oh, that's surprising. It's not actually as much as I thought. I don't really understand that. It said eight. We're producing eight tons per minute. Now we're making 12 with the items. Does that make sense? I thought we were already getting double. Because the electricity brings us to 200. Which was there before, so that's fair enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess actually, yeah. Because that was there before. Yeah. Because I was thinking like 50, 40, and 20. It's 110. So I was like, oh, we're going to double production. But considering electricity, was already, we're already at 200. We're not doubling. We're adding a third, which totally adds up, going from 8 to 12. Um, yep. All right, great. So let's have a look at our citrus situation. Yeah, not good. Consumption is 81. Production is 60. And a lot of it's stalled, wherever it is. We'll get back to that. Next one is chocolate. Now, the interesting thing with this trade union we've just set up, we actually do make more chocolate than we need, even still. So I don't need to do anything. What about sugar? Even sugar we make more of. Okay. I did not anticipate that. I really thought... I mean, sugar... Getting the extra sugar from these guys is super helpful, but I was so certain, because I had to look at the math a little bit beforehand. I was pretty certain that we were going to need more chocolate. And I thought, oh, that's not a problem. We've got so much space around here that we, and these guys affect the chocolate factory that we could put down another chocolate factory and we get more sugar back for it. Whoops. I don't know what just happened, but I just tabbed out of the game. So hopefully it's okay. But it looks like we're golden on that front. So that was uh, a little easier than I thought. Now, not everything's being produced all the time. So I'll have to kind of work out where those issues are in a bit. Just really quickly, this has been bugging me. Is there no just tree on its own? Oh, there we go. That looks nice. <laughs> All right. Get this. There we go. Just looks a little bit better. Um, and then this can also be moved up here. Uh, and that'll probably move in the future. I don't know why I'm doing that now. So, and there's lots of warehouses there for them now as well. Okay, so what's next? I mean, that was pretty quick. And given just a, a little speed of time, so we can actually see this effect. But given a bit of time, things should be delivered now to our engineers and our tourists back home. So we should easily see this past 170,000. I'm hoping. Next population milestone's at 173,900. It's possible. I mean, if we look at how many engineers we're going to get, this is irrational to expect such delivering cars. ice cream. We, oh, the mess calls arrived. It gives us three extra engineers per household, and the ice cream is six. I actually thought it was more. And then what about so the nice tourists? To hear the, drums of war, isn't it? the tourists get 25 extra per household and 20. Wow, that's pretty good. High dining in the most you can bring this sense. way up now. I'm pretty confident it's not going to fall. I'm pretty confident, anyway. I want to get that number all the way up. 
But that's going to raise the population. Here we are. That's 10. By the way, this radius, for those who can't remember, extending it over this far generates uh, or reduces the consumption of a bunch of things, but it also gives you 10% extra residence, I think. I've risen to the top. The absolute top. You're We're almost at the top. 10,000 engineers. Love to see it. All right. Now, I just noticed it said souvenirs had fallen for some reason in the happiness tab. Yeah. Let me just double check that's how we make them. This city is a we do make enough, so I'm sure it'll be fine. It's just a... Oh, yeah, we yeah we do. It's probably just a transport issue. Old World Souvenir Delivery. We're in the presence of a virtuoso. The ship is full, and it's going to be dropping 300 in at a time, then picking up 300 and bringing them up there. Okay, yeah, it'll get, it'll get here. Might just require another ship or something if it's been a bit slow. Uh, there we go, 170. Oh, we're so close to 171. All right, let's uh, keep up the momentum, though. Next up is Bombins and Leather Boots. How hard can that be? Bombins and Leather Boots. Bombins. We are a little bit short on it. It's 19 tons consumption, 13 tons production. What about the leather boots? Oh, that's really close, actually. And we make them at Lusk. Oh, there's something happening down here I meant to address, actually, which is this. They're not getting cotton fabric. And we do make, I think, enough cotton fabric. I want to look after everyone. Oh, we're so close to being short. But yeah, we're just full up on Manola at the moment. Uh, they probably just need, like, one more building. This is all of them here. So I'll slow back to time back down now. Let's pop another one in here. <laughs> Let's do this just to make it a bit more consistent. Okay, so that adds another one in. It's a bit more of a demand on, obviously, cotton. But that brings us up to 36, which globally makes it enough now. 36 over 35. It's all made in one place, which is nice. So what about the what about regular cotton as a raw material or agricultural material? Ooh, close, but we actually make enough. So that's also good. And it's all a lot of it's made here, some of it's made in Marbella, which I think we pick up. Oh, maybe not. Mhm. Mm we would have to be a new world only route. I don't know if cotton gets consumed over there. I would imagine it doesn't. No. All right. So we need to set up a little ship. Yep. That just takes cotton from Marbella up to here. And again, if <laughs> these trade routes are going to get very busy. Like the piers, I mean. All right. Cotton. There you go. Bring them in. All right, so that's bringing all the cotton together into one place. That's all the cotton being made now in all these buildings. And then we just need to set up a trade route to bring it back to the Island of Lusk. That's all. So from here to the Old World, to Lusk, Manola. And we need cotton fabric this time. All right, export cotton fabric. There we go. Easy as that. New world, uh, new world to old world. All right. <laughs> Anyways, that was a side problem, but that should fix the tailored suits not working. Now, the interesting thing with the tailored suits is the byproduct from this guy in here, Paul Poiré, shocking fashion designer, is that he makes bombins, which is why we needed to do that. So bombins is what we're looking to get. And also, they need to get their delivery of Sanga Cow if you want to make those boots. So there's four buildings doing boots, and that says that it won't be enough. What items do we have in here? Productivity 40%. Productivity 40% with a reduction in workforce for both of these. Hmm. Could we get something that maybe boosts bootmakers? This affects bootmakers to 40%. And who works in there? Artisans. We have 4,000 artisans. 
So we don't necessarily need that. We could put something like Ferris in there or something maybe more. Uh, hang on. Is he in here? No. Let's just do productivity. Actually, let me try uh, bootmakers again, just to see is there anything here. Alright, I'll just have to leave it then for a moment. We, I'm sure we can get another item that can do it though. Alright, so that's problem solved, <laughs> kind of. Right, there is a good amount of room around here. We could move the fire stations down and get another building in here. I'm, I'm certain certain of it. You know, you could have another one there or turn one sideways or something like here. So that's not really an issue. We could easily get another one in there. It would just require more Sangha cow. So let's get Sangha cow delivered. Sangha cow, 28. Consumption is 34. Let me also have a look then globally, I guess, at items that could do boot makers. So anything that's better than 40%. If we could get it to 50, 50 or 55 or something like that, that'd be nice. I mean, if you just get another Ferris, right, it's 50. So let me just work this out. If I was to just increase it temporarily, let's say boots, leather boots, consumption. So we're just marginally under it. And if I gave you that 10% that you're going to end up getting with this item... No, it's not enough. So Ferris wouldn't wouldn't be enough to do it. Hmm, I'm just think thinking, do I need this? You know, productivity 40%. It affects the tailors, these ones. How are we doing for those leather... Uh... Jacket, is it? I don't know what they're called. What are they called? Tailored suits. We don't even make enough of them. Okay, that's a problem as well for something else. Hmm. Alright, so that does seem like we'll just need another building then. So let's get rid of this um, space. I've actually got that blueprinted. that affected? Force it is affected, yep. So, no, I won't force you to sing, you're okay. And yeah, if you need another one of these, we could put, put it down here or something like that as well, right? There's still room within this trade union, so we're totally fine. Might require moving the uh, fire stations a little bit. Optimizations, industrial ornaments, let's go industrial ornaments. A medium-sized construction site. Let's go with a narrow construction site. There we go. It's nice and quick. All right, cool. So that should keep us keep <laughs> keep the ball rolling for now. So we just need Sangha cow. So it looks like we are delivering it if it just arrived. Sangha cow from the old world. Ambassador to old world. Yep. She comes in on this ship with a bunch of other things. Don't, that's an old trade route, I think. Now, ultimately, we're not making enough. So we'll have to go to the source of the issue, go back to Mbesa and figure this out. We're up to 172, by the way. That's good. Now, is this where I was making Sangha Kao? I love how he says that, and I, my gut reaction when he says it is to say how he says it. But I feel like it's like, oh, you're not allowed to say that, you know? I want to go like, there's tea by the door. And I just feel like, I like how he says it. <laughs> but I feel like if you do that, it's like, oh, you can't do that. So, if I ever end up doing it, just know it's from a place of love. <laughs> Alright, so we have four Sangha farms here on this island, but we need much more. We've got room for more. All 
All right, let's just put a few of these down. We can move everything in the future when we need to. Oh, wow, they fit up here as well. Require some irrigation on my part. Just give me a minute to put my tools in order. Oh, I kept the uh, <laughs> the canals here. All right. So, how much canals do we have actually? Uh, oh, we're at capacity. Oof. I see the issue. That's not a big deal, though. I just want to kind of spam these down and then kind of see what um, what we're making and then work out if I need to use the irrigated space or not. Sangha cow. All right, so Sangha cow, we need 37. We've got 33. Uh, yeah, maybe just one or two more then should be what we need. Oh, I didn't even think about it, but these can have silos. Oh, I'm out of wood. Oh, crap. Uh, I don't even know if I produce wood on this island anymore. We do there, but I think it's all consumed, if I'm not mistaken. So you guys get a silo. So you're going to need also a warehouse on this side. Yeah, five wood. We'll get that in a second. Let me just speed up time. There we go. Maybe I could just fly a ship over with some wood in it. Nose forward. Alright, let's see what we're at now. We needed 37. We're at 33 still. I think once it gets its uh, stuff in the silos, though, it should get a bit better. Tef grass. There we go. Just got it. 35, right, so yeah, one or two more of those, and we should be good. So there was two here that didn't get what they needed, so you can be brought down here. I can't move you over right now, but just give you a silo as well. Alright, just grab that wood, bring it over, and it should just keep us going for a bit. I know this has been very lazy doing it this way, but I'll reorganize it in a time lapse at some point. I imagine what's probably going to happen is one of the other islands will do a lot of the Sangha meat, because this one's probably going to be used for agriculture. But I am at my limit, sort of, in terms of water canal space. Um, so yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe it doesn't need more. Because I imagine all of this is probably going to be agriculture, like, um... Yeah, like, I'm, I'm losing my mind, guys. Not meat industries. That's agricultural farms. What's What are farms called? Pastures, I guess. Or animal farms, I suppose. Yeah, so I imagine animal farms will be on other islands. The rest of the irrigated space will use agricultural land. Um, and this grayed out area or this non-irrigated soil will probably be used for other industry that's going to be needed here. All right, so that should be enough Sangha cow coming back now. The problem is that it's probably not good having it on this route. So we'll take it off this route. And just hit accept. And I'll make a brand new one that just does Sangha cow because it seems to be in high volume. Straight into Lusk. Now some of that's actually used for meat in some of the restaurants, I think. I think. Okay, so you can do this. We'll go Embesa to the old world and call it uh, export. Well, Sangha cow. I guess we're bringing the cows, not just the meat. <laughs> Oof, there is a disaster going on here in the city of Rush. Where are those fire stations?
Are there no fire stations? No, there it. Yeah, I don't see any. Because I feel like if I hover over this, yeah, it does show me. There's the police station. If I hover th over this, nothing. Yikes. Okay, well, that's kind of amazing. That's the first time I'm seeing that. Oh, they've got no wood. Jeez. How the hell has that happened? Alright, when you get here, you let me know. We'll dump in the wood, and then they can get cracking on that. I have to repair all these guys. Yeah, I don't know how we had no fire station here for so long. This has pretty good reach. I feel like there used to be one. Oh, I think there used to be one where the um, po um, post office was. Yeah. Pretty sure I had one there. So yeah, I'll just put one in here. And maybe another over there. That starts to hurt the radius of these things if we go over that side. Alright, anyways, I'm getting a little bogged down. So, we were trying to do... Let's see how we're doing with the tourists now. So, they have their souvenirs as of right now. They have their ice cream and they have their mezcal. So, we're now up to 172-ish thousand people. We've got 7,200 tourists. So, we can, again, just bring this all the way up, maybe. Sometimes there's a problem getting the 5,000. I don't know why. There you go. Oh, my God. There we go. All right, 5,000. That's as big as we're getting. The Iron Shlong. <laughs> All right. We're getting close. So, yeah, just the bombins and the leather boots, then. And we're bringing over the Sangha meat. Which should just immediately go into the leather boots. And we're making enough of it now. And we have enough leather boots factories so that it should just get distributed up to the other guys pretty soon. So let me just type in leather boots. Uh, let me type in boot, maybe. Not seeing nothing. So maybe we could do these two as one route together. Or maybe I shouldn't dabble with that just yet. Let's see. Leather boots. 12 tons per minute. Okay, so at 12 it means it needs three slots, really, on a ship. And that's three slots free for something else. All right, delivery leather boots for now until we put something else on it. Maybe humblest, but green pastures, hands swept. All right, our wood has arrived. Even though I didn't hear the bell go off. All right, so we're putting down some fire stations. Hopefully that'll help these guys out. And then once the fire subsides, we will just quickly rebuild those houses. Better than ever. All right, I think the last thing to do then will just be to... Let's just speed up time so these Sangha cow can get here. What's going on here, by the way? Oh, my God. Coconut oil shortages. Um, yeah, once the meat gets here, then they'll make the boots, and then we can ship it up. So that, that trade route's in position now, so that's going. What else was the other one? Oh, the bomb bins, of course. Yeah, so bombs is going to have to be made up here. 13 under 19. So that includes making them at Lusk already. And then we make them in Bomb and Weavers here. There's actually room for one more. Almost. We can cut that road. The fire left ruins the fire. That's going to require more cotton fabric and felt. Now, is that going to be enough? So brave and Unfortunately so not. Lives. So we're going to need at least one more. Some more bombins there. So let's check in the cotton fabric, I guess. We just had a look at that recently. Yep, so that's gone fallen way behind now. Oh, wait, actually, we have to... Oh, no, it's true. Yeah, it has. And then fabric. Uh, sorry, felt. Felt, actually, we produced enough of still. That's great. Didn't expect that. So we made in Guadalmina, though. And it's totally full. I wonder, do we export it? New world delivery of felt. Yeah, looks like we do. 
Looks like it needs more than one ship, though. Or it's just been full for a while. I think it needs more than one ship because it actually goes to another island. And I don't know if it really needs to. It gets made on Guadamina Manola. So we don't need it here, but it must be dropped here for some reason. But I can't think of what would require that. This island doesn't really make anything anymore, so... I think I could probably take that off that route. So... It's getting dropped to... Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. So just do this. And that should be fine. Can't remember. I mean, if I see the shortfall for some reason, that it's like, oh, you were ne it's needed for something, then... Fair enough, but I can't remember why that would be. City is a magnet for genius. Yeah, I can't think of it off the top of my head. Just looking here, seeing as we've removed so many of these factories. Alright, so felt is okay, but unfortunately cotton fabric is not. So felt, we can move that out of here maybe. Just for a sec, and let's just put in more of the fabric. So much. If they don't bring some first. So you're gonna need way more cotton then, obviously. But where to? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where you want to go. Oh, by the way, someone told me that I've reached the max range of my hacienda, which I didn't know was a thing. I thought it just infinitely extends, which means that this will always be a gap until I bring this down one. So I'll have to bring it over a bit. Which is okay. We've got lots of room on this side, so I'm okay with doing that. I'll have to do that at some point myself, though. Right, so cotton will be then need to be brought up again. Yeah, so we're 10 tons per minute short, which just means I think you need one more. And I actually have room for one more oil thing anyway, so this should just work. We'll have to wait for it to get its stuff, but that should give us the boost we need, I think. Also, I've got tons of oil, so I'll probably just end up building another one of these. In fact, I'm just going to also shorten this route. It doesn't need to be there anymore. There we go. And I'll probably put another one in here just to feed the rest of the tractor barns around this area, but then that'll be pretty much it for the farming on this island. Unless I decide to do some up here. I've got room for three more of these before oil gets a bit... Um, a bit tight. Alrighty, things are looking pretty good. I'm actually surprised at how easy Ice Cream and Mezcal were. It seemed like they'd be more difficult than that. Now, there's still, I'm sure, a little bit of logistics to figure out with some of these things, but ultimately, like, overall, they seem to be going pretty smoothly. And then we just have a fabric ship that's taking it to the old world. We've only got one ship doing that. I feel like that's going to need to be two going forward. Because one, one delivery of 300 doesn't seem like enough every like 10 minutes or so. But these guys are operational now. We're after... Wow, we've got tons of leather boots here already. And then, um, yep, yeah, that's the tailored suits. But obviously bomb bins are going to be stacking up in the background too. So the last thing I'd like to check is just... Yeah, there's 3,000 here, so we could just even temporarily just start moving it now. Just to see it fill up. Bombins to the new world, so there's nothing from the old world taking bombins up. So let's have a look at that other route that we just made. So it's making, it's using leather boots. We'll just put bombins on this. I imagine it's consumed in similar quantities because it's used by the same people. Uh, let's see. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Let's just go old world. It's consumed seven. Oh, it's much less than actually the leather boots. They're consuming ten. But that should be fine. Should be fine. 50-50 on the ship is okay. Close enough. Um, so yeah, we'll just wait for that ship to make its delivery and then we can kind of see. It's on its way back down now. <laughs> There's so many ships all coming together. It would be so weird if in real life, I don't know if this really happens, I'm guessing it doesn't. Ships like, that couldn't, like, oh, 
you wanted an order, you know, you ordered a shipment of toys. Oh, there's nowhere to put it. We'll just bring it back and then just bring it back again. Like, is that a thing? <laughs> Probably not. I wonder in the next Anno game, would they ever think about like that as a concept? This sort of manifold idea of just filling things up. Instead, like you'd have to it'd be very micromanagey, I guess. You'd have to like choose the specific orders for everything and try to hit quotas. Rather than just going like, I'll fill the ship up. If I make more than I need, then ultimately the ship just kind of backfills. And that makes life a lot easier. Um, right, guys, I think that's going to have to be pretty much it. Once this last delivery gets made, we'll just watch the bomb bins come up, and then we can see that we've hit every lifestyle need of these tourists. Their happiness needs... I'll never fulfill these 100%. I don't really mind about that, but it's all the goods that I want to deliver. So we should see the tourists go all the way up to 625. Our population's actually fallen a little bit. I wonder why. You the Engineers, how, how are you guys? Yep, they've got all that stuff. We've got 12, 13,000 engineers now. They don't have their medicine. Medicine's really good, but it's we don't make enough of it, so it kind of delivers and then it runs out and delivers and runs out, but that'll be a fun one to do next. After we're done with the tourists, we'll just work on the rest of the stuff for these guys. A lot of their stuff, as you can see, is already done. It only gets easier every tier we move down. A sort of parallel tier to tourists and engineers, though, would be also the scholars. So they've got problems. There's lots of stuff they're missing. Uh, so we'll have to get to that. They're like dr dramatically low, <laughs> I would say. Uh, this should be also really tricky and interesting. The New World Reports and the Arctic Reports. You have to have a specific item, I think. Drop it at a trade union in that theater that can then generate the type of mail that you need to then bring it back. It's like, oh my god. And they also need scooters, which is a problem. Alright, so should we check? Has it arrived? Not yet. Where's that bomb and ship? It's just arrived literally just now. Leather boots and bombins. In fact, we should, uh... Alright. There you go, guys. 625. I don't want to ever see that drop ever again, by the way. We sorted out the perfume, it seems like, too. If we just had a quick look at perfume, maybe. Yes, there we go. Solved. What about souvenirs? That's the one that I didn't do anything to, and I just hoped that it would work. <laughs> uh, maybe. It's getting a little low. It says it's trending down right now. Alright, come on. Give me the juice. Get me the 625. And these ones over here, I think, go up even higher, don't they? Yeah, 785, because they've got a few items in there. Oh, they're just gonna they're just gonna tease me <laughs> with the one away from it while it's waiting to get that final bit that extra tourist has to hear about the hats before they arrive here I wonder when all these high-hatted investors look back on their dying day what do they see I shudder to think it's an interesting deep uh, thing to say well, there we go we've done it ladies and gentlemen 785 that's tourists from top to bottom production solved all the way. Almost. Gotta just, the last thing was that, um, cotton, right? Oh, we're t three tons short, so it'll need one more cotton farm, but that's no problem at all. We're not short for space for cotton. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. A nice successful episode sorting out everything for a whole class. So we delivered four different goods. Mezcal, ice cream, bomb bins, and leather boots. And then we fixed a few other trade routes, so, um, yeah, feeling good. Alright, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.